that is London. First, let's just talk a little bit about your characters. They're they're similar in one sense that they're both kind of outsiders, they're mm -hmm. resistance fighters. So, but individually, what made them compelling to each of you? Ooh, I mean, yeah, well, first of all, I guess you have women in different stages of their lives. You know, like Hester is is younger in some ways and is starting to find her strength, mm -hmm. whilst maybe Anna Fang has sort of found it a bit more. It was very exciting for me, not just as a woman but also as an Asian woman, to to play a character that is uh, so self-empowered. But also this character really has, um, you know, characteristics that, that I aspire to in, in levels of fearlessness and courage um, and her dedication and compassion um, to helping humanity. So it was um, really rewarding to, to try and embody this character. Talk about like when you first saw the script and, and, and first got started to explore the character, like what, what stood out to you most about each of them? Yeah, I think um, having his whole world turned upside down and the scales falling from his eyes and he starts to understand that the way he's been living on London it has been a sort of lie in a way because it's, it's propaganda that has intentionally omitted the reality of the rest of the world. I loved Catherine's innocence and naivety and, and how she... I liked the journey from girl to woman to young woman and... That, that really excited me and you know what she's so kind and helpful and lovely and you know uh, yeah. I thought that that would be a big leap for me and I thought that that would be a big challenge so I was really excited yeah, about the opportunity to like play killing, a really nice helpful yeah, person. She usually is like killing small woodland creatures yeah. and stuff that's like <laughs> recreation. Yeah, she's for really Lena. nice yes. and so you know I thought that's a challenge. Uh, Hera it's mm -hmm. interesting you don't see a protagonist male or female with mm -hmm. a scar on their face very mm -hmm. often um, yeah. and that scar is very important to yeah. the character. Yeah. Um, yeah I mean to me the most important thing was both that it was visually just you know, uh, strong enough and that it, it told the story it, it, that it needed to, but also the, the emotional scar that she's carrying on the inside and, and that, you know, in a way you forget about her scar um, as you get to know her because mm -hmm. the real person, the, all, all that matters, the real beauty, the real, you know, whatever it is that comes from the inside. It's refreshing in this age where of, of social media yeah. and filters and the expectation of perfection of women, especially in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's wonderful to see that this movie really, you know, allows the the lead protagonist to shine her inner mm. strength and inner beauty. How much of uh, London was sort of built out for you guys? I know they, they, they like to work with big sets down there. Yeah. And, and the CG and everything, but how much of it was there for you to actually respond Most to? Most of it. Most of it. Really, a lot, truly, yeah. A lot, really a lot. I mean, the, the detail in it, I, it they created a world down yeah. there in Wellington. Several. Things to touch, things to pick up, things to, mm. you know, look at and walk into and walk around and walk on top of. And you could look in every direction and you'd be in the world on some of the sets. Mm. And if you consider the film as almost like a, a, a series of vignettes that take you through uh, the world as it expands, you know, going from London to the hunting ground to Airhaven to Shan Guo, each stage was given just enormous amounts of uh, of attention, you know. So we had all that, yeah, we had all that to sort of knock over, knock over vases and stuff. 